Junji Resolve just dropped their version 20 beta and it's an absolute game changer. And it's packed with tons of new powerful AI features. In this video, I'll show you my top 20 favorite features in the new Vinci Resolve. So let's dive in. So the first up is the keyframe viewer in the edit page. So here are the two new icons. This one, show keyframe tray. And here also you can see keyframes. Let's say if you want to make some zoom animation on this clip. So click here to add some keyframes. Go few frames forward. And now let's add some zoom animation here. If you don't see this, just go to transform. Okay. You can change the duration of the animation from here also. You can change the curve properties from here. Go here and change to keyframe curves. You can see all the curves of this parameter. Now select all of this and click here to ease them out. If we, if I zoom, you can see all the properties are smoothened out. So before and after. So this is the new feature in the Venture Resolve. Number two is AI music editor. Suppose you have a long music track, which is two or three minutes long and you need to cut it down to 30 seconds or one minute. So how you can do it? Just drag and drop on your timeline and go to AI music editor and either you can adjust the time from here. Just mention the time you need. Like for this case, let's say I need a one uh, minute music from this and let's hit adjust. And it will analyze the clip and make a one minute track from this one. And look at the magic. Here we got our one minute track. Here you can see the points. Music is crossfed by AI to match the beats. Another way to trim the music is select live trim and right click here. You can see this new icon and drag it to your preferred uh, duration. Let's say 30 seconds. I want 30 second music. Again, it will analyze the music and make a 30 second version of your music. This is a very helpful AI feature. So number three is AI beat editor. So sometimes you want to make an edit and you want to cut to the beat. So for that, right click on the music and show music beats. So it will analyze the music and make some beat detector points. You can see these lines. If you want to cut the video, you can see this is just snapping to the beats of the music. See, this is a very helpful feature. So number four is functional text box in the text class. So let's say I want to add some text here and I will I copied some text and just paste it here. So it looks like this. So if I change the size, so it's going like this outside the frame. So for that, go to the layout and go to the text box and select these two box. You can go to the fusion overlay and just change this to align the text as per your box sizing. Number five, automatically delete render cache after certain period. In the previous version of the Vinci Resolve, if you go to the playback and manage render cache, you can see all the render cache of your projects. You can clear the render cache from here. In the latest Vinci Resolve, if you go to the preferences and then go to the user under cache management, you can delete cache files older than certain days. You can select 10 days, you can select 30 days, whatever you want. So number six, AI Magic Mouse version two. So we already know the Magic Mouse in the Vinci Resolve is pretty powerful. So now if you go to the Magic Mouse and just click on the subject, it will select the portion of that subject. No need to drag over the subject. And if we track this, And you can see it's pretty fast and pretty accurate. If you want to go to the previous version of this magic mouse, just click here and go to legacy object mouse. So then you can see the previous magic mouse from here. Number seven is easy voiceover recording on the edit page. You can see this new icon of the recorder. Click here and you can choose the file name and you can select the input of the audio. For me, it's the MacBook Pro microphone and you can append the recorded track on the audio one and just hit record. This is a kid running on a green grass in slow motion. If I play this, this is a kid running on a green grass in slow motion. So this is a very convenient feature. Number eight is vertical video layout UI. So this feature was very much needed in the Vinci Resolve. 
here you can see I have imported this vertical clip in the video resolve and now let's go here and select the portrait version and here you can see a new icon just click here and just you can dismiss the inspector from here also and you can see the bigger view of the vertical video you can see this layout uses maximum real estate for your vertical video thanks to blackmagic design so number nine is intel strip and this is a game changer let me show you so here you can see i have six clips from different podcast so what i did i selected all and i already ran the vinci's transcription feature so all of the voices are transcribed into text files as you can see here already now the magic happens when i select all of these clips and right click and go to AI tools and create new timeline using Intel script. And I will feed the VG uh, script for this whole video, which is this one. Any text file will work and open and boom. Look at this. Jason Pargin says, accept that all of your heroes. So if I pull up the text file side by side, you can see this good at one thing by sacrificing literally everything else. I don't go anywhere without a wand. I bought my first Hymax from 15 pounds. I remember I got it from Argos here in London. This here is fake money at this point. You can see it's actually following the script. So number 10 is AI multicam switch for podcast. So when you are in a multicam scenario like this, here you can see a new icon. Click here and you can change the angle switching, minimum edit duration, edit change delay, all of these things. And I will keep this to the default settings and smart switch setup. Here you can see faster or better. I'll go for faster and you can also use the audio only for faster analysis. For now, I will keep it unchecked and then analyze. And it will analyze the clips and makes the cuts for you while you grab a cup of coffee. You can see the result from here. It not only analyzes the voice, it also analyzes the pixel movement in the frame, who is talking, and then cut to each person talking for that specific podcast or interview. So it will save huge time for all the editors who edit hours long podcast. So number 11 is another crazy AI feature, which is called AI voice training. As you can see, this is my voice. I recorded a random audio clip. So now I will train my voice using this audio clip. So for that, right click on the audio file and then go to AI tools and the VG AI voice training. When you open it for the first time, it will download some training engines. So this is a warning. You should not train other people's voice without their consent. So let's accept it and let's name it. This is a test file. So training accuracy, I will make it faster because this is for the tutorial only. And let's start. So this will train the voice in the background. So our voice training is done. Our input voice length was around 34 seconds and it took around six to seven minutes to train the voice. So now let's see how it sounds. So this is the you write some code. You could build some hardware. Nava Ravikant voice and I want to change it to my voice. So for that, right click here, go to voice convert. And then here is one option you can see rendered in place. So it will replace this audio, but we don't want that. I want a separate track for my voice. So Let's, these are some default trained voice from the Vinci and I will select Soto test. This is my voice and hit render. I already tried once. That's why it's showing re-render. Now let's render. Done. Now let's hear this. Let's make it slow, solo. Even if you were very good, you had enough understanding of computers, you could write some code, you could build some hardware and don't tell me people can. It's only took 34 seconds of audio, which was also not that much good. I recorded it casually. So this tool will be helpful if you're recording somewhere very noisy or outdoor, then you can change your voice to clean audio later. So now let's do another thing. Now let's change it to one of the pre-trained voice. Let's use female to US and hit render. 
So if I play this, now let's play. Down on somebody else. They can do it. They just have to be educated. Now, if they're educated, all is hardware, software. You can't tell this is converted from someone else's audio. Absolutely mind blowing. So number 12 is AI audio assistant. Suppose we have a timeline like this. Here is the voiceover. 2018. And here is the music. But music is too loud. So instead of manually adjusting the music, what we can do? Select all of these clips and the music tracks. Go to timeline, AI tools and audio assistant. And delivery standard YouTube and hit audio mix. And here you can see the AI in action. It will do audio classification, dialogue mix, music mix, SFX and ambient mix and final mastering. So once it's done, let's hear it. Back in 2018, my PC was my lifeline and getting me through edits. As you can see, the audio ducking is working and the music is also dialed down. And this is an amazing feature by the Blackmagic team. This is just the beta version. It will improve over time for sure. Number 13 is AI animated subtitles. If you select the voiceover clip and go to timeline and then AI tools and create subtitle from the audio, it will analyze the audio and create subtitle for you. And now you can animate the subtitles in the feature result. So once the subtitles are created, you can go to the edits and then go to titles. And under the titles, you can go to the subtitles. Here you can see new animated subtitles. You can just drag and drop some effects from here. You can, if you play. And you can change the style from here. And you can also change the colors and all these stuffs from here. If I change the color to something yellow, red, green, whatever you want. So number 14 is AI IntelliCut or checkerboard to new track. So suppose you have a long audio of a podcast. So both of the speakers are speaking in the same mic and this is the audio. Now go to the Fairlight page and click here right click on the track go to ai tools and checkerboard to new tracks click here boom you can see it already separated different speakers audio into different layers okay he started out really rich and then he got to so go off in the now Arabica, and this is joe Rogan. god i gotta get the fuck out of this job so this is again a beautiful feature for audio number 15 is ai upscale or ai super scale so previously you could upscale a uh, 10 TV footage up to 4K, but now with the AI super scale, you can go up to 8K. So if you upscale this to 4X or 3X, it will make the resolution of the footage higher. Though it's very hard on your machine, it will make a very good job of upscaling your low quality footages. So number 16 is AI smooth cut. So here you can see two clips. You can see the cut is very hard. So for that, go to video transition and search for smooth cut and drag and drop here. Previously, it would look something like this. So you can see this frame blending and all of this stuff. So new AI feature is this speed wrap. So if I click on this, so if I play this, how smooth was that? Amazing. So now let's move on. Number 17 is short step on the edit page. So it used to be on the cut page. Now it's available on the edit page, which is very helpful. Suppose you have a timeline like this. Let's mute this timeline like this. And you selected all of the clips from the media pool. And if you click here, you can see all the short step here. So if you enable the short step here, you can see all of the short step here. And you can also view the current timeline here as well. So here you can see the timeline as well as the short step on the edit page. Number 18 is remove silence. So if you go to the Fairlight page and right click on the selected track and go to remove silence and you can change the settings, the threshold, prehead, postal, minimum to strip and also you can add fade head and tail. Just click here and hit remove silence. Now, if we play, you can see it remove all the silence part from this audio. It's also accentuated by unhappy lives. It's un un accentuated by unhappy choices. So as you can see, it removed all the silent parts. Number 19 is AI depth map. 
So let's say I want to increase the overall exposure of this foreground. So for that, let's add depth map here. And you can see it's automatically detected the foreground. And if I untick this one, depth map preview, and then increase the gamma. Let's see before, after, before, after. No need to do any masking. This is like a magic. So number 20, the last, not the least, this will help the motion graphics editors a lot. So this is splitting Photoshop PSD file into layers inside the Vinci Resolve. So I have this Valentine's Day card. This is a PSD file, as you can see. Just right click here and split PSD layers into place. If I make the timeline a little bit bigger, you can see all the elements of this PSD files are layered. If I dis disable this, you can see all these layers are individually splitted. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope this video was helpful. So if you like the video, please drop a like. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, subscribe and hit the bell icon. I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then, stay safe, stay happy. Peace.